morning. Stay out of here, it's There are people that influence you from afar. They influence you from a, a really far away away. And growing up here, right there, right down the road in Runnaby, from when I was about 11 years old, I got a Bassmaster magazine and I, I looked at these guys and these guys were my heroes. And I want to announce these first two guys um, and it, it chokes me up that they're here because these guys made me want to fish and now they're here supporting kids fishing. Gary Klein, raise your hand, Gary's in the back. And and Shaw Shaw You guys, Gary Shaw, you have you have had more of an impact on kids. When I when I was young, you had had more of an impact on kids than you know, and and even kids that live in the city. So thank you guys, thank you guys. Yeah. I can tell you, I thank each and every one of you for being out here too, because I can tell you this. Uh, you know what really drives all of us is passion, and you know what is passion for the sport or uh, whatever sport that you chose to participate or whatever you do in life, it's about passion. And uh, if you really truly love it, then you're going to excel at it, do well. And I can tell you, this endeavor is extremely hard to pull off and to do. And you know that, that a lot of love, not just for the sport of fishing, but for the kids to go and develop the foundation and keep it going and running it and I thank you guys for doing that and that's uh that's really a good thing. You know, Third place, boat number 40, high fish limit weighing 9.89 pounds, the team of Keith, Nate, and Zach Collin. I'm going to put you on the spot too. You guys are so consistent, whether it's the river or the flats or the Thursday night beer league. Right, right. You guys are consistent. <laughs> the most important. The most important, the Thursday night beer leagues. Yeah. Seriously, what's the what's the secret? There's people out here listening and watching. What's the secret to being consistent on the Delaware River? You just gotta keep on keeping on, you know. And if you can find a couple fish to sit on, you're you're lucky. Cause mainly stop and get a couple and go. So today today the uh, Terminator T1 spinnerbait got it done. Rapala, thanks for uh, sponsoring the event and. Uh, you know, it was a nice team effort. Dude. It's good to come out here and catch a check with my brothers. In second place, boat number two with five fish, weighing 11.13 pounds, Bassmaster Alina Angler 
Hot the Bull, fishing with Gary Cornelius and Jeremy Hoffman. Come on up. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Good. Where's I? He went home. I went back. Yeah, he wanted to put his boat away. Okay. I can't blame I don't blame him either. Uh, tell me about the day. Tell, first of all, tell me about fishing with I, dude. I, I've known I for a long time, and I've never fished with I. I'd actually like to fish. How was the experience? He's an awesome guy. He's like really laid back. He shared so much information with me. It was, I, I fish nation. Yeah. But, you know, to fish with a guy like him, you kind of pick some things up that you don't see yeah. any, even in that level. Yeah. Um, like a good example today was he caught a fish on a frog and it was hooked in the tongue. And, you know, most people know if you hook a, frog, a fish in the tongue, it's going to die. It's over. He pulled out a pair of wire cutters and cut that hook. Right. And that fish was fine. Lived all day. It was totally fine. Never had a problem. So in addition to having fun, in addition to raising money for a great cause, you learned a lot from your from your program. Yeah, it was awesome. I, I, I'm fishing with again anytime. We had a great day. Okay. Well, I'll tell you, this is the winner of the Yike Foundation's third Pro-Am. Boat number 28. Five fish. Judge just edging out boat number two with 11 pounds, 0.74, 11.74 pounds. Fishing Mike Centauri, Henry McKee, and Jack Rickers. And I'll tell you, I want to say, guys, that were sitting in that fast cat boat. And how did they like it, Mike? You better check them and see how they like it. They look pretty comfortable out there. All right, first of all, look at, hold that thing up. Look at that. Get a picture of that. I like that. that that's a heavy trophy. Mike, I, I, honestly, you... All three of you guys are, I was waiting for this to happen. It's your third year doing it. I saw the disappointment in your eyes the last couple of years. This, there's nobody out, in my opinion, there's nobody out here that knows this river better than you. Maybe Pete Clouse, maybe a couple guys. What does this mean, win mean to you? It's, it's pretty unique, you know. Um, it's a great fishery, but nobody ever wants to fish it because of the six to eight foot tide sway. And I've spent a lot, a lot of time out here just learning how to fish tidal rivers. And so it, it's kind of surreal that you know finally one decent tournament every year out here, and you're putting it on, and um, you know for a great cause, you know for charity, and uh, it's just unique to be able to win a boat. Uh, dude, I, I want to thank you guys. Uh, you know, I'm 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 so thankful that you guys support this event. Thank you for supporting Ike Foundation. Thank you for supporting kids fishing. And I'm proud of you guys. You guys are New Jersey guys. I'm proud that you came out here and showed what this river has. Proud of you guys for winning. There you have it, the winner of the Bass Cat Boat. First place, and look, right there, you're gonna see in the value of it, it's priceless. It's a beautiful Bass Cat Margay. Uh, there's your winners, we've got everyone, look at this, beautiful RS Nets. We've got the RS Nets bags. And there are your champions at the third annual Ike Foundation Celebrity Pro-Am. There you have it.